Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie and today I have a Joann's haul. But I went ahead and I just went to Joann's for a return. Ended up leaving, of course, with other things. Um, if you guys have not seen Crafty um, Crafty Crafts by Deanna, um, she has a haul video from Joann's and she shared this really cute collection, which I will share with you guys. And of course, I went there to check it out and ended up leaving with more than what I wanted. <laughs> but anyway... So um, let me just share with you guys the papers that I grabbed and then I'll share all the other good stuff. Of course, I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of paper. I don't just grab a couple of sheets because then I end up like if I need more, I just cannot go like to the store when I want to. So I grabbed a lot. Um, I usually do my errands in the morning while the kids and Chris are still sleeping. I go right once they open. So um, yeah. Uh, I did grab some things from this Vicky Booten collection called Where To Next. It is a traveling theme. Um, I mainly got this from our uh, to kind of use for our New York trip that we made in January. So I wanted to try to use some of this on some of those photos. And I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, a lot of these are like Subway and whatnot um, themed. So I might use that on there. But I did grab two sheets because I love that ticket... Um, theme on here and I'm definitely going to be cutting these up and using them individually. So I only grabbed these or this specific sheet and the back just has this like grid um, from this collection. And then of course from the Maggie Holmes Within Grove I told myself not to grab any more paper but I just ended up grabbing three of my favorite ones. So I got this sheet right here which has the fruits and it says gathered. That's what the name of this paper is called and this is the back I think I grabbed like six sheets of these unfortunately online the sale was 10 for three dollars but when I went there she said it was only 30 percent off so I kind of paid about double the price I did the math and um like if I were to get 10 sheets let's say um I would be paying double the price from the three um the three dollars so I was a little bummed about that. I thought I was going to get the 10 for 3 because sometimes they honor it, but um, she said it was only 30% off. So, of course, I still ended up buying it, but I know the deals will get better. So, um, I did grab that sheet, and then I did also grab this one right here because I love the floral papers. So, I got this one here, and there's still so much left of the paper. I was so tempted to get more. But since I was getting another collection, I didn't. And then this one right here, which a lot of you guys have probably already seen this if you guys have watched all the other haul videos. So I got multiples of these because you know the pink and the yellow. So that was from the Woodland Grove collection. And then from the clearance section, I saw this. There was only one left and it was that Heidi Swap cloud vellum that everybody was like going crazy over and I didn't get lucky to get this sheet but I got lucky and got one on clearance for 97 cents so I did pick that up from the clearance section and here is the collection that I grabbed that I saw on Deanna's channel and it is called Flower Child by Jen Hadfield you guys Ugh. I'm in love with the whole boho theme and this collection was just everything so let me share with you guys the papers so this is one of my favorite ones i grabbed so many of these i think i grabbed 10 of these ones because i am just loving this floral with the i don't know the checkered print it just really gives me like vans vibes and i am a huge fan of uh, vans um i did grab it though because the back and this is just everything i love how it looks so I did get that one and there were some sheets I wasn't going to grab but what is a collection without all the papers right so yeah that's my toxic <laughs> toxic trait I just end up just grabbing so here's another page that I loved I grabbed a couple sheets of these too I just love the colors on here I think it would be so cute to do on a layout and then the back is this print right here and you guys, I wanted so much more of the paper, but I had to limit myself. And there's this sheet and this one right here on the back. And I don't think Joann's carried the ephemera or anything, so I need to, that's the last thing I'm going to grab. And that's going to be from online. 
Um, I'm just going to grab some of the ephemera just so I have it for this collection. And these are cut-aparts. I didn't get too many of this because I know I'm just probably going to need one sheet of uh, the cut-aparts and then I'll use the back for almost everything else. This gives me Austin Power vibes, you guys. Like, <laughs> that was my dad's movie. He still watches it. We still talk about it. But I remember just, like, always watching it. So did love that paper. I'm not a green kind of girl, but... I did have to get some of those. And then this one I almost left behind. Um, I'm not a huge like fan of these colors, but it is groovy. So <laughs> I went ahead and I grabbed, I think like four sheets of these. Because again, what is a collection without all the papers? So I did get that one. Love this yellow print. I kind of want this as a wallpaper background for like a kitchen. I think that'd be so cute. And then this wood grain print with the hearts. And I was obsessed, you guys, with this tape. If you guys seen my Valentine's Day outgoing mail for um, my crafty BFF, Steph, she, um, or I made her a jukebox with the little tapes on there. And this just was calling that. <laughs> and I had to grab a bunch of these because I love this pink, yellow, and orange. And then there's this one right here. These flowers. This one's really pretty. I love that rainbow. It's just, it's not bright. It's more, I don't know how to explain. Like, it's not that, like, primary color type of a rainbow, you know? It's a bright rainbow, but just not primary. So I love that. And then there's this green. Again, not a huge fan of it, but I know it'll work great with the collection. So um, I'm never against, you know, working with green. It's just not something I go towards. And then I didn't notice this side because I was more into this. And when I was checking out, because I was helping her count all the papers, you guys, it's crazy how rude some people can be. Like, I have this every time I go to Joann's. And this is a different Joann's I went to. I don't ever go to this one. But everybody in line was so rude. Like, I know that, you know, when you're going somewhere in the morning, the you're not expecting someone to buy a lot of stuff well i was helping her count the papers because i knew already the line was going to end up like getting long it's once one person goes into line everybody does but man they were making it obvious that they were just not happy with her being up front by herself and i just told her i was apologizing to her that my order was large like i was like i'm sorry like i will do what i can to help you and she's like no it's fine like i've called for someone they're doing what they can to get up here and these people were like just like wow i don't know maybe it's just me like i'm not one to complain in line if i see someone in the front is having a hard time because you just, sometimes you just don't have enough workers i mean you don't know what the other people are doing if they're busy with other customers so i don't know yeah everybody was grouchy today so <laughs> i don't know what was going on there but anyway here's the other paper sorry for talking a lot <laughs> don't mean to but I just wanted to bring up that situation because that's just insane to me. I've been in her shoes, the red cashier's shoes, you know, and I've told people before, you know, I've called someone up if you could just be patient, you know, like if you're coming at a time when there's a lot of people shopping, you got to expect to have a line. So there's that sheet and this one right here, I'm like loving this right here. I think this would be such a cute like hammock, <laughs> but anyway. Okay. And then the last paper is this one right here. Sorry you guys for venting, but I just, I can't stand people like that sometimes. Like I just, and the worker was doing everything she can. And look at how cute this, um, rainbow I almost said umbrella this rainbow print is um I will be having a video out of me sharing a rainbow mini album that I made and do a little like decorating process but yeah that's definitely kind of um reminding me of the album that I made so there is the paper from that collection and let me share with you guys all the other stuff that I grabbed Okay, so from this collection, um, there were cardstock stickers. Like I said, the ephemera wasn't there, but there were cardstock stickers, so I was really excited. These were 30% off, and they are only $3.99. But 
this is what it looks like and it has that like holographic foiling and here is the other side how cute is this collection you guys I don't know I don't know why I grabbed it <laughs> Okay, and then um, I also grabbed from that collection one six by eight paper. There, I think there was only one left, but the first thing I looked at was this paper pad. And when I saw the papers, I was like, okay, yeah, you might have to grab the 12 by 12s because I was only going to grab a six by eight, but I just, I couldn't say no to the 12 by 12s. So there's 36 papers, 18 designs. So you get two of each one. And the 6x8 has foiling. Look how cute these hearts are. And there's this one here. Ooh. Same pattern, different scale. Same with this one. Ooh, I like this one. It has the holographic print. This is not in the 12 by 12s, but that's really fun to have. Ooh, you could see all that shine. Love this sunray pattern. And then everything else doubles. So I got one of those. It was originally $6.99 plus the 30% off. And then I also grabbed the sticker pack since um, there wasn't much of this collection available there. So I just grabbed what I can. And these are the stickers. And this one has more of like an orange foiling on it. But there's that. These are clear stickers. These are clear holographic stickers. Orange foiled. These are cardstock stickers. More clear stickers with like popsicles, watermelons, oranges, strawberries, like little washi type um, strips and then flags. And the last one is this alpha with the holographic um, outline. And that is the sticker sheet or pack. And the last thing I think from that collection, oh no, there's two more things is the puffy stickers and you guys oh my gosh there was only one of these but look how cute these flower puffy stickers are and you get two sheets of these which is amazing i'm gonna have a hard time using these these are the most adorable flowers like little puffy stickers ever so i got that and then the last thing from this collection is the card making kit there were so many of these you guys there was nothing left from the woodland grove but um, I did get one of these because I wanted to try it out um, and since I don't have an ephemera pack just yet for this I thought I would grab this and if I don't make the cards I can at least use the elements that come in it um, to use with the papers so I'll flip through this for you guys so that you guys can see what comes in it and these are originally $8.99, which is cheaper than when you get it, like, online. But here are the cards. So these are stickers. I love these. They're so adorable. I'm a huge fan of, like anything boho or like you know old school 80s 70s whatever I it just it's i love it okay and then these are little washi strips i think these ones you have to cut yourself maybe no these are cut up already they're just little washi tape strips and you get the card bases this is adorable i was not expecting this card base but this is really cute does have that foiling on there it's like a rose gold for this one it's a lot of different color foils um, and then there's this card base which is this flower right here I'm not a huge fan of this floral piece but just for like thank you cards and stuff this will definitely be um, come in handy 
We'll love this pink and orange. And then there's this one right here. I like this one too. And this one's okay. I think it's just because I don't use blue. So this one's all right. Um, this one has that uh, rose gold foiling as well. And then you get some foam squares and the envelopes. And the ephemera pieces. So these are the ephemera. And does it show what comes inside? Yes, right here. I'm not gonna open it up just because I have some other things I need to record but this is what it looks like. And that's in here. So I'm not sure what the ephemera packs are looking like. I know that they have, I think, three different kinds of ephemeras. <laughs> so I need to look at that or two, two different packs. So, all right. All right, so that is the Flower Child card making kit. And then um, next I'm gonna share with you guys is the Woodland Grove stuff. So I did get another um, a six by 12 sticker sheet, or I guess 12 by 12 if you open it up, but you guys have seen this. And then I've also grabbed, because they had it in stock, are these layered stickers. My store next to me did not have these so you already know I had to grab some of these because I didn't grab a lot um with any of my pre-orders and I'm not planning on grabbing any more so I did get those from Joann's and I also wasn't going to pick these up since but since they were on sale I was like you know what might as well so I got two packs of these and we'll see if I use them a lot of these a lot of the times I forget about these paper clips so <laughs> we'll see about those um and then I did grab something from the Heidi Swap collection. Um, I shared before that I picked up her acetate um, from this collection. It was the boat one. Well, I got the um, little stickers because I thought I could use these on some photos from our trip or for our trip when we go. And they just say things like it's an adventure kind of day, perfection, um, ocean breeze, endless summer. And it just repeats take time to coast so sun sand sea it's just like perfect so I went ahead and I grabbed one of those um since there's three different colors and they repeat each other um repeat themselves and then I did you guys there was five of these there was I grabbed three of them <laughs> um but they're just a six by eight um Woodland Grove paper pads because you can't beat the prices at Joann's for these pads and I've shared these before so I won't flip through it again but yeah you really cannot beat the price so I did grab those and then these were on sale as well and these are the gold papers that I use in case you guys are interested um, I always share these in my haul videos and these are the ones I use it's $2.49 for eight sheets and they're six by six size but the gold on these are just so nice sorry you guys see my camera and it's um I don't know it's just like that perfect it's like the perfect shine and it's a thick cardstock, like really thick, you guys. And I love how it cuts. So this has been my favorite. I really hope they don't stop making these um, because I just need a stock up before they stop and I can never find it online. So I did grab that and I'm not going to share or keep that on camera because you guys will go blind. Okay. And then I also grabbed these because my store did not have these at all. So I didn't pick them up. And again, for my pre-orders, I only grabbed, I think, one. And so I grabbed three of them and these are the puffy sticker hearts from the Woodland Grove collection. And you guys, how cute are these? So I am really excited that I at least have some of these in my stash. <laughs> these are so tiny, the packaging. I'm not used to little puffy stickers being in small packaging like these, but that's from the Woodland Grove. And then the last things that I grabbed from um, Joann's. Okay, so I did grab more colors of Diamond Dots because there are some colors that I just don't have in my stash. I also grabbed some other pinks because the selection at this store is so much bigger than the one next to me. Like the one next to me is like this. 
and the one at the other store is like this. So I had to grab more colors. Um, so I got some greens and pinks and you guys, when people started seeing me take these out from my cart, that's when like it started getting worse. Like the attitude was just, the vibe was not it in the store. <laughs> She was trying to call someone and they were just busy with someone cutting fabric and stuff and there was only three of them I think there and so I was like apologizing because I was just like oh my gosh like I'm so sorry like these people are really being rude like they're making it obvious and talking amongst each other and they're like wow this is just ridiculous like oh my gosh like seriously you guys I even got out of line at one point and I told her I was like here you can just cash me out and I'm just going to go back in line and then um, I'll just finish paying everything. Like, that's how bad it was. Like, I told her, just take the next person. I'll pay for my paper in a separate, like, a separate um, transaction. And then again, it happened, though. Like, even more people were getting impatient. Like, even after I got out of line. So, I don't know if it's just a morning thing. But, I mean, I've gone shopping in the morning before. But, yeah, it was just, they were really rude. I just felt really bad for the girl. She, she was so sweet too. Okay. But anyway. I think my son just woke up. So <laughs> those are the colors that I grabbed. Um, I didn't really go off of anything, but just colors that I use a lot of. But um, there it is, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Joann's haul. Nothing too crazy. I will have one more haul posted of an online order that I picked up. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope that you guys didn't mind me venting to you about some customers. I hope that you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that y'all are watching this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.